Hey, what's up everybody, man? So, as you can see, I got the 240 behind me today. It's a pretty nice day. So, I decided to come out here and work on the car. We have a pretty decent amount of stuff to get done. Well, we got done a pretty decent amount of stuff already. Uh, I already got the exhaust off. Uh, pretty much everything in the engine bay disconnected. I just have to do the dry shaft, the clutch slave cylinder, engine mounts and transmission mounts. And I should be able to rip it out. I know this build took a lot longer than I initially anticipated because, you know, money issues, not issues, but, you know, didn't have the money to buy parts at that time. But I got a lot of stuff done. I got a lot of parts. I got my oil pan in. I got, I got a bunch of stuff. And I still need a little bit more parts. Not a lot, though. And... Yeah, we should get this stuff out. Uh, I won't do a lot of filming of uh, me pulling the engine out because it's just me. I don't have my tripod for my phone. So, yeah, I'm working by myself today. It's a little tight. It's getting a little warm out here today, too. It's January, and it's like 60 degrees out here today. So, yeah, we're going uh, to gonna try to make it work. But, yeah, stay tuned. Uh, yeah, I'm outside. I didn't expect this build to take this long or this rebuild to take this long, but... I guess patience, right? So we'll get it done. It's kind of dirty, so I'll show you guys in a second. So here it is, right here. Like I said, it's pretty dirty. I got leaves everywhere. But yeah, this is the engine bay as it stands right now. I think I got a little bit more stuff to disconnect, but I'm pulling the engine and trans out all at the same time. And then I'm gonna pull the transmission off and then take what I need off of this engine scrap it keep it moving all right so a quick you know, so a quick progress update i got the uh dry shaft out transmission cross member out hood off i just got motor mounts and yes yeah, i took the hood off and i got prop shaft off the exhaust and then transmission cross member. So it's about ready to come out. And once we get some info, once we pull this out, take some parts off of it. Hopefully tomorrow I can put the new motor in and then get started from there. Mm. Well, so we're back. Um, it's Sunday and we got the motor out and some other stuff we need to take off. Uh, I don't know if I want to start taking off everything right now because I don't want parts just laying around unnecessarily. But I think what I'm going to do is since I'm not reusing the old motor, um, probably going to cover it up because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Probably just gonna cover it up and uh, move the transmission out the way, and then get started with some other stuff. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be too long of a day today, though, because it's not really much I can do now that it's out. I just want to get all the stuff situated. But yeah, yesterday was this wasn't the easiest thing in the world to take care of, but we got it straight. So yeah, let me get started. I don't have my tripod again, so I can't do a lot of filming while I'm working, but I'll try my best, so. So basically, like all I did today was, I just moved the, tra moved the transmission out of the way. I got the uh, parts off the ground, put the hood back on it, cause it's supposed to rain tomorrow. And so all that is waiting on is me now to finish the engine build but I have to get the engine up the stairs and over here which would be a task that I'll have to handle probably next week um, I need to get that torque crank so I can torque all the internals down and then once that's done I want to get I'm gonna bring it here get the timing chain on get the oil pan on the bottom cover and then once that's done, drop the head on, continue on. And once we get to that point, 
go ahead on and put the clutch and flywheel on. And then put the transmission on it. Uh, get the head torqued on. Put the engine in the car. And then once we get the engine in the car, I'll probably take, see if I can't, see what I need off of here. Get the, I need the engine mounts off of here. Bolts, just whatever I can and just go from there. I also want to get some engine degreaser too because the engine bay, this is like really, I guess I had like a, a leak in my oil pan on this other motor. So I want to get that cleaned up, like somewhat cleaned up. But right now, that's not the priority. I'm trying to get the car running so I can have me a car to drive so my wife can get off my back about it. But that's really it about, you know, for the vlog about this today. Um, the next video you'll see will probably be like of the engine build. But yeah, I don't want to leave the new motor outside anyway because it's rain. It's going to rain. But yeah, I mean, that's it right there. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, man.